Looks like hard work in these conditions. You need a hand? Well, yes, actually. But it may result in close contact with the wilds. Is that going to be a problem? I'm prepared to face men and beasts alike. Count me in. Ah, I can see it in your eyes. Well, I have taken it upon myself to study the wild beasts, but need more data to confirm two of my hypotheses. One concerns the multi-handed creatures, and the other the vomiting humanoids. What have you found out about the multi-handed beasts? One of my patients saw them in his nightmares before the flood. I can't visit him, but he must know something. Here's his address. Uh, those hideous wretches seem almost... human. But what could turn one into such a monstrosity? Jim Bells, a patient of mine, was admitted to hospital with symptoms resembling cholera, but he turned into one of those things. Incredible. Here's the address. Find out what happened. Bye. The slime still looks fresh. I suspect Dr. Grant would be interested in it. Ugh. Weeks have passed since this food was cooked.
John. You... Oh, oh, what is happening to me? No matter how bad I feel, I have to go to work. Why can't you understand that? Time to figure this out. No matter how bad I feel, I have to go to work. Why can't you understand that? John, you... Oh, 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 what is happening to me? The beast crawled from the sunken basement at night and infected the family. After a short incubation period, they turned into monsters too. I don't think he's going to tell me much about those monsters. Seems after visiting Dr. Grant, the shop owner preferred to self-medicate. Those bloodstains would definitely attract wild beasts.
cheaper than the rest. I called into the shop of your patient. Unfortunately, he committed suicide. Oh, I wish I could say I was surprised. Sorry for wasting your time. It wasn't entirely a waste. I found some evidence that sheds light on the origin of those creatures. Uh, for what it's worth, Professor Westerbrook calls them Stygian Harvesters. But uh, what is it you found? Your patient's diary. His dreams became too real, too confronting. He tried to stay awake using stimulants, but those Stygians appeared near him when he slept, as if they were leaking from his nightmares. Hmm, a psychic phenomenon, or manifestation. How unnerving. I'm afraid he's not the only one suffering from such dreams. I checked the house of the diseased man, Bells. His family has turned into those creatures, too. Huh, fascinating. Did you discover the source of the contamination? A creature emerged from their sunken basement and transformed them. I think its vomit is contagious. Hmm. If so, we must quarantine it. Those Lethian revenants are a huge threat. This city could not survive an epidemic like that. What did you call them? Uh, Lethian revenants. Oh, you may thank the university professor for the beast's unwieldy names. I found your studies rather interesting, Dr. Grant. Got more places to search? What dedication. Thank you. Your findings have been a rich resource for the scientific cause. I've got two more places for you. More dangerous, one with huge monstrosities, but I'll prepare a comparable reward. Just what am I getting myself into? One of Oakmont's largest stores was closed after the flood hit. A looter tried to break in, but his thievery was, shall we say, interrupted. He was set upon by a huge wild beast and hardly made it out. The question is, with the building locked up tight, how did that creature Get in. Ah, oh, what about the place with more manageable creatures? Well, there's a restaurant here with a bad reputation, not for its food, but for women disappearing. The police found nothing. I treated the partner of one missing girl. He arrived here severely injured and told me about the jumping maws. He was at the restaurant too, I suppose. Indeed. And what's curious is the place is still open. Please investigate and find out how that's possible. Bye.
blood is still fresh. Typical kitchen utensils. My esteemed patrons, <laughs> presenting my latest delicacy. Ah, don't be greedy. Don't hurry to eat, please. You'll always be my most well-regarded clients.
putrid slime is everywhere. I'll take a sample for Dr. Grant to examine. Those bags stink worse than a barrel of rotten fish. Or... Fisk. Whatever. Quick. Bring them in before the neighbors see us. Are those the last ones? I did everything you asked, yeah? So when will my initiation begin? Okay, let's see what we have here. Quick, bring them in before the neighbors see us. Are those the last ones? I did everything you asked, yeah? So when will my initiation begin? <laughs> Members of a cult were disposing of bodies in the basement of the shop. The corpses merged together to form a huge monstrosity. paid a visit to that awful restaurant. I'd call it a den of evil, but that would be an understatement. Good grief. What happened? Uh, the cook was mad, a cannibal, and fed those jumping monstrosities on human flesh. He called them patrons. That restaurant was a destination for Oakmont's elite, many of whom disappeared shortly after the flood. I think we now know why. Are you suggesting that it was cannibalism that caused such a horrific transformation? These days, alas, cannibalism is not so rare. Could it be that all the Cositians, as Westerbrook calls them, were once men? I visited that old shop you mentioned and found a few things you may be interested in. Even took a sample for studying. What did you discover? I was sure a huge creature could not have wandered inside unnoticed. The cult of the Fecund Mother was dumping corpses of their victims in the shop's basement. Hmm. Professor Westerbrook's research does suggest the Acheronians are attracted to dead bodies. No. This one formed from the corpses themselves. There was a putrid slime on everything. Maybe that's the cause of this unnatural rebirth. You said you took a sample of it. Well, I can conduct some experiments on rats. If your theory holds true, what a marvelous discovery. We've discovered a lot of disturbing information about the wild beasts. What are you going to do with it? Well, I've already contacted the university. We'll cooperate to further study these phenomena. The public deserve to know. It would help them to protect themselves and others. <laughs> it would cause mass hysteria. Doesn't the city have enough problems already? I must insist you keep all this confidential. I thought you wanted help. And I will. But we must prepare our advice carefully, with scientific rigor. We cannot rush this, my friend. Bye. <laughs>